Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a sea otter. You'll need a small amount of brown, or if you prefer two different browns, cream and white cotton or wool. I use four ply crochet cotton. You'll also need thin black cotton or felt circles for the inner eye. And you'll need a crochet hook, sewing needle and scissors and some black cotton for the whiskers. Now I'll start with the head and a magic loop. And into the magic loop I'm going to work four chain. One treble. Six double crochet. Three treble. Six double crochet. And one treble. And then we'll pull the loop tight. And join with a slip stitch into the fourth chain. For row two we start with four chain. And then we work a treble in the same place as the chain. and then two treble into the next stitch. Next we work two double crochet into each of the next six double crochet. And now two treble into each of the next three treble.
And now two double crochet into each of the next six double crochet. And lastly, two treble into the last stitch. And we join with a slip stitch. For row three, we work one chain and work a single crochet in each stitch around. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. At the end of the third row we join with a slip stitch into the first chain and that's our head. I will start on the ears. We work one single crochet in the same place as our slip stitch and then one half double crochet. Into the next stitch we work two double crochet. And then a half double crochet and a single crochet into the following stitch. And then we join with a slip stitch into the, the head. And then we can fasten that one off. For the second ear we miss 12 stitches. And then we join our cotton into the 13th stitch. We'll start with one chain and one single crochet into the same place and also a half double crochet into the same stitch. Then two double crochet into the following stitch and a half double crochet and a single crochet into the next stitch. And then we join with a slip stitch into the head. And that's our head done. For our body, we start with a magic loop. And work four chain into our circle we work one treble six double crochet Three treble, six 
six double crochet And then lastly, one treble. And we pull our circle tight and join with the slip stitch in the fourth chain. For row two, we start with four chain. We work a treble into the same place as our chain and then two treble into the next stitch. Next we work two double crochet into each of the next six double crochet. Now, two treble into each of the next three treble. Now we work two double crochet into each of the next six double crochet. And lastly, two treble into the last stitch. And join with a slip stitch into the fourth chain. For row three, we start with four chain. And we work one treble into the same place and then one treble into the next stitch two treble into the following stitch and then one treble into the next stitch
So along the side we work two double crochet into the first stitch and then one double crochet into the next two stitches. We do that four times. So that's two double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into the next two stitches four times. Now for the end we work two treble into the first stitch and then one treble into the following stitch. We do that three times. So that was two treble into the next stitch and one treble into the following stitch three times. Now this side has worked the same as this other side. So it's two double crochet into the first stitch and one double crochet into each of the next two stitches four times. And for the last two stitches we work a two treble in the first stitch and then one treble in the following stitch. And we join with a slip stitch. 
and that's the body done. We won't fasten off, we're going to work the tail now. For the tail, we start with 18 chain. And then we work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And then we'll work one double crochet into each of the next four chain. Now we're going to work a joined double crochet over the next two stitches. And then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And now I'm going to work treble across the rest of my chain. And then I join with a slip stitch into the body. And fasten off. And there's the body and tail done. Now I'm going to make a nose. I'm going to start with a magic loop and black cotton. Into the magic loop I'm going to work three chain and three double crochet. And pull my loop tight and fasten off. So I've just got a little triangle for the nose. Now for the outer eye I'm going to, I've got my four ply cotton, I'm going to make a magic loop, work one chain and into the loop I'm going to work five single crochet. Pull 
for my Loctite. And then slip stitch into the chain. And that's the outer eye. I'll make two of those. Now for the cheeks I'm using cream cotton and I start with a magic loop. And into the magic loop I work three chain and 10 double crochet. And pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. I need two cheeks. For the foot I'm going to use a slightly darker brown. And I start with eight chain. Into the fifth chain from the hook, I'm going to work five up five treble. Now I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then three half double crochet into the last stitch. And then into the back of the two half double crochet, I work another half double crochet. So into the back of the chain on the other side. And then I slip stitch into the top of the chain, just up in there. And that's my foot finished. I'll need two, they both work the same. Now for the inner eyes, 
I've just got sewing thread. You could use tiny little felt circles if you prefer. Now I've made a magic loop and into the circle I work three chain and I'm going to work 10 double crochet into the circle. And I pull my circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain, which is somewhere in there. And you've got a tiny little circle. I'll leave enough thread to stitch it onto the outer eye. For the mouth I'm going to do four chain. I'm going to leave quite a long tail to stitch it in. I'm going to just squash it in and stitch it down. and I'll leave a long tail on the other end. So it will just squash in like that, but I'll show you when we put it together. I'll weave in my endings and do another eye and cheek and foot and I'll be back and show you how to stitch it all together. To put it together, we start with attaching the different parts to the face. Then we'll put on the feet and we'll attach the head to the body. Then we'll have to crochet in the arms. For the face, I start with the cheeks and I stitch those together just in that little join part there. I put the right sides together and just attach them with about three or four stitches. The cheeks go just under the centre circle. So I'll attach, attach them and I'll also attach the black part to the eyes. I position it just at the bottom so it's got the white showing up around the top. So I'll stitch them on and I'll be back. Now I'm going to stitch the nose on. I'll start in the centre, that little pointy bit, 
I'm going to push right down into the join there. I'm going to push the nose down as much as I can. I'm going to stitch along the cheeks and make sure I get the the top of the double crochet into the top there. Just make sure it's secure. And then push it in and stitch along the top. I want it nice and even and rounded. And on this side I'll make sure the top of the double crochet go, goes into the top of the cheeks. So that looks pretty good so I'll just stitch down the bottom and I'll be back. Now the nose is on for the mouthpiece, I'm just going to attach the chain in there on both sides. And then I'm going to, to stitch it in. I'll end off my endings and I'll push it in and stitch in similar to I, as I did to the nose. Just stitch it in like that. So I'll do that and I'll attach my eyes just in either side of the nose with the black bits facing down. I'll do that and I'll come back. Next I stitch on the whiskers. I have three on each side. I'll have a close-up on my website if you need to have a really good look. And I'll also stitch my feet on. They go down towards the tail pointing slightly out. Just below the, the top goes just below the centre circle. So I'll stitch them on. Now I stitch the head on just at that join, the join of the first row. So I'll stitch that on. I stitch along the bottom and then I secure it over the back. Just stitch around there as well. So I'll do that and then we'll put the arms on. For my arms I'll attach my thread, I'll miss the first stitch and into the second stitch from the neck on this side and I'll work 12 chain. I'm going to do a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And 
and now I'll do one double crochet into each of the next two chain. And now I just treble, one treble into each chain to the end. and then slip stitch into the body and fasten off. Now the other arm has worked the same, but I'll join my, my thread into the fourth chain from the fourth stitch from the neck. And work 12 chain. One half double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. And then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then treble, one treble into each chain to the end. and slip stitch into the body and fasten off. I'll just weave in my endings and I'll come back and show you the finished sea otter. So that's the finished sea otter. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. 
The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.